Hi YouTube, John here with Beer, Bourbon, and Bushcraft, and, and I have monkey. with me, look at the camera, Monkey Vader, from the Monkey Vader channel, and today I'm continuing with a series that I'm putting together on teaching the next generation survival skills. Monkey Vader and I already put together a, a bug out bag. You remember doing that video? Yeah. With your bug out bag, it's up in your room. And today we're going over fire starting with, what's this called? Fair rod. Fair rod. Yes, and that's a fire starter. And today we're gonna practice with five different Object. tinders. Yeah, they're called tinders. That's what you start a fire with, it's a tinder. And we're gonna light all these on fire. Yep. So we've got a, a nice piece of fat wood that will take some shavings off and, this, and spark it up. And this thing. Yep, and we've got a live fire. Uh, this is the original live fire. And this thing. And we've got a a wet fire, fire starting tinder. And this. Yeah. And then we've got uh, some of Dave's can Dave Canterbury's uh, mini inferno wax wax rounds. And this thing. Yep. And then we've got some zombie tinder. Ooh, zombie tinder. It's for the zombies. <laughs> and it's uh, jelly ginned cotton inside here that should light up really good. So we're gonna take these down. She's gonna she's gonna spark off the the ferro rod and and practice getting it going. We've done a little bit of practice and she's getting some good sparks this coming is out. This how you do it, guys. It will light. It will really light things on fire, but I. I'm pretty good at this. Ow! Now you gotta, you wanna hold this like this with this hand, and put this like this with this hand, and then go. That's how you do it, guys. Okay. When I put some tinder down, that's what you wanna do. So why don't you go ahead and practice making a spark real quick? Okay. Ow! Yeah, it's kind of sharp. You wanna, you wanna hold it. Hold it hard. I do it correctly, right? Yep. I try to. Guys, I can't do it. Yeah, you can. You just want to do this, honey. See how Daddy's holding it? Yeah. Okay, so just like that. No. Just like that. Put this down your hand. Put the chain down your hand all the way, and you put this on here. <laughs> It's not gonna hurt you. Wait. It's just a little scrapey. It's, you need to hold it hard. You need to push hard, honey. So you gotta hold it tight, and then you put your thumb on here, grip around it. It's not gonna hurt you. Okay, and then take this with this hand, and then you wanna push on it. You gotta, you gotta hold that to make the spark, honey. You gotta push hard. I tried to. I tried to, Dad. Now look, you gotta push hard. Ugh. Dad, will it hurt me? See, it's not. You pinch it so it doesn't scrape you, and then you just put your thumb on it and make the sparks. You did it yesterday. I know you can do it. <gasps> There's a spark. Okay, keep practicing.
You need to hold this tighter, honey. Pinch it between these fingers. Put your thumb up here so you get some good leverage on it. Ugh. I wanted it really tight. this down and do that okay Dad, so they come brain. so they come off the end so we can light the tinder practice that right near the end no um, look how daddy's holding this okay daddy okay Daddy. No, I know you are, honey. It's not working. Dad, can I use that to do it? Dad, I think the problem... You want to try it off the knife? Yeah. Okay. I think the problem yeah, is me, this. Let me cut some, thing. some fat wood off here. So it's not that fat? <laughs> no, it's just called fat wood because it lights up really good. So it's just not that skinny. Yeah. So you can cut some little curlies off of here. It's this is called fat wood or lighter wood. It's it's from a pine tree. Pine and it's, tree? Yeah, the, the pine tree, the sap, the pine tree blood catches on fire real easy. And when you cut the tree down, some of the wood falls gets, off? No, it gets all the pine blood in it. So it's super, super catchy for fire. And, and then it turns to this? Yep, and then it turns to this. Okay, let me close up. I think we got a 90 degree spine. Let me make sure this knife will work for sparks. Barely. That works way better, this does, than that. You can try that, but I don't think you're going to get a spark off of that. It's too big and heavy. Why don't I just use it with the edge? Because I can't use that. Yes, you can. You just need to hold it tight, honey. I... See? You just put it like this. Dad, can I just be ready for the next level? And see. Now watch. Fire? That's how you do it? Yep. Okay, I'm ready. So what should I begin with? That wood? No, you need to light it off the little pieces, honey. I will give me yeah, let's try this. This will light up pretty quick. Try some of this zombie tinder. Zombie cotton. tinder is fluffy? Yep. It's just it's cotton. It's super flammable. Too fuzzy. I'll put a spark on it. And it'll light on fire? Yep. The whole thing will just Yep, just put this put this right on there like this. There, I'll hold that for you. Let me scrape it. I tried to do it, Daddy. Sorry, I accidentally cut you. It's okay. I tried to do it, Daddy. Okay, see, we need to get down here. <gasps> Fire! <laughs> see, it lights up really good. Yeah. And now we would pile little sticks on there. 
and start a bigger fire. Yeah, go ahead, put them on there. It's not gonna hurt you. I, I was about to get burnt. No. What? That's not a real fire? Yeah, it's a real fire. But but if you put your hand in there, will it burn you? Yeah, if you put your hand in there for a long time, it will. But if you do it real short time, you'll be okay. I tried to do that. Dad, that thing's going on fire crazy. Yeah, that zombie tender lights up really quick. Yeah. That was, that was good. That fire does it. And these mini rounds from the Pathfinder store, they're uh, wax impregnated cotton rounds, kind of like what you use for cleaning up makeup. And what you do with these is you get some fluff. Fluff? Fluff. See how it's all fluffy right there? Go ahead and cut this so we don't need the whole thing. And then you put a spark up there and it'll light up. Yep. Off of a fire. Yeah, don't don't do that. Just let it go. It'll burn out, honey. Okay, go ahead and put a fire on here. It just lights up real easy. Yep. Put your put your fire stick on there. Okay, you need to hold it at an angle like this. Okay. Okay. There's a spark. <laughs> it's okay, it's done. Dad, can you help me? Okay. Now watch, honey. <laughs> see how see how easy that lit? Yeah. Pretty I'll neat, huh? I want to put some wood on it. For the other fire. Ugh. So the Dave Canterbury Mini Infernos light up really fast. Saw one just tiny little spark going on there. Yeah. And I think I have another scraper that, that I'll does get for really Monkey. Good. That so this is like a cut off piece of hacksaw blade. It does throw a pretty good spark off this ferro rod, but it's kind of getting in her fingers and she's not able to light it too well. So that's Dave Canterbury's Mini Inferno. It's okay, honey. It's just a little bit of wax. Now we've got a wet fire. These things fire up great. If any of y'all have ever used them, they ignite pretty good. They light when they're wet. Anything. It's wax. Yeah. Kind of get some little pieces there. You can see that lights up really fast. Dad, I'm the one who's supposed to do it. Well, you're not getting sparks, honey, because you're afraid of the little saw blade here. So we'll have to find a better scraper for you. <laughs> and then we can do the views all over. Yeah, then we'll shoot another one. I'll get. I'll have another scraper tomorrow when we go in the woods to start working on our Tell our permanent you. shelter. You can see that even the wind not going to put that out. You'll get about 10 minutes worth of fire starting from that wet fire. And uh, the Dave Canterbury's mini inferno is still burning. It'll go for about 10 minutes as well. <laughs> so we'll do some more fire starting videos. I'm going to get a, I've got a ceramic scraper. I'll give to her and that should, she should be able to use it a whole lot easier than this uh, little piece of hacksaw blade. Okay, don't mess with that monkey. It's not playtime. We're talking about starting fires. <coughs> she's, you know, this has got the teeth on it and she's kind of afraid. It's biting into her finger a little bit, so she's kind of afraid. But I do have a, a carbide, it's supposed to be a knife sharpener, but I would never sharpen my knife with it that just shower sparks off a ferro rod. So, 
I'll get that and we'll use we'll use that tomorrow when we're out in the woods. Okay, okay, that's enough, honey. Dad, we'll just let can that I burn catch out. something on fire for a minute? No, we're not going to catch something on fire for a minute. So I like doing outdoorsy survival type stuff with my little monkey baiter here, um, passing it on to the next generation. Um, granted, she didn't get a fire started today, but she did learn something about fire starting. And like I say, I'll get her a, a use a better scraper uh, and uh, do some more videos of her trying it out with uh, something a little that's not going to scare her that doesn't have the teeth on it there. Come here, folks. Come up here, we gotta say bye. Okay, then we can play by play bed. No, it's pretty wet and cold out, honey. But yeah, for a little bit. Uh, for a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So I'm John with Beer, Bourbon, and Bushcraft, and this is Monkey Vader! And uh, we appreciate all of our subscribers. Uh, all of our likes and comments. Uh, if you Dad, can think of anything you'd like to see, come off fire. Uh, her and I do. Uh, teaching the next generation go ahead and leave it in the comments down below and we'll see what we can do about getting a video put together for it so until next time got monkey vader here i'm john see ya